is love? I believe it's something that defines us. It makes us smart and oftentimes stupid. But love is more than just a feeling. Alex? Hi. It's Roger. Oh, hi. Roger, I didn't recognize you. You look dapper. Thanks for meeting me here. I really like to meet girls in the park. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. This guy dates a lot. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you. Shall we? Sure. Well, Stupid Cupid isn't a regular dating app. Um, it's a traditional matchmaker with a tech twist. Like having your own Cupid that helps you along the way. Not literally, of course. Uh, having a baby in a diaper giving dating advice is super weird, am I right? Nice. Wouldn't have taken you for an art lover. Is that supposed to mean? Just because you're like a lawyer, you're a lawyer and you're busy all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that, um, you seem like a nice gal, and I can see this going someplace, maybe. Uh, so I want to be honest. I am going through some workplace drama right now, and I'm not practicing at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just difficult to read people sometimes, you know? At first, it's all, nice shirt. And then it's all, no, don't, stop. I'm going to call HR. Girls just don't have a sense of humor. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. <laughs> See, why can't Mary be funny like that? So you're in tech. That's right. I'm in my own startup. Uh, we're in our first year, so we're making it work, but we're a creative bunch. Tough racket. I read somewhere that after 30, the creativity drops off dramatically. Yeah, right along with fertility. Well, I'm 30. So. That's cute. <laughs> So look at that time. I, you know, I forgot I had a. No, really? Come I was gonna leave first. That's why I created Stupid Cupid to help people find an answer to love. Our open beta has almost ten thousand users, so people definitely think we're unique. Love is a language we forgot how to speak. Stupid Cupid is here to translate. What a lovely story. That must be why we love your app so much. It's your passion. Your app is going to completely reinvigorate our audience base. Your audience base? Oh, sorry. Always blowing my load too soon. <laughs> Whoops. We want to get into bed with you. In business, you prude. Uh, <laughs> we want to buy your app and incorporate it into our line of products, uh, preferably before you launch in a week. I don't know what to say. Um, say yes, please. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, wow. Uh, um, I'll have to talk to my team about this, but I'm sure they'll be thrilled to join forces. <laughs> oh, boo, I should have been more clear. We want your app, not you. I don't follow. Your app does have some amazing features. That survey, <laughs> brills, <laughs> that algorithm, fantastico. Yes, yes. But everything other than that is just complete. Like how you got to this point is beyond me. It's like you and your team know absolutely nothing about love. Uh, <laughs> Let me put it this way. If civilization was nearing an end and the future of humanity rested on your app, to get people to do the horizontal mumbo, but I'll die, miserable and alone. Our pre-launch is going great. <laughs> people are really responding to what we're building here. Everyone stares at a car ruck when they drive by one. Trust me, stupid Cupid is going to be dead on arrival. The nerds at HQ have done the market research. That's why we at Hardon are offering you an exit strategy. Think of it, the synergy between stupid Cupid and Hardon. It's like a Cupid that gives you a heart on. Or something. I don't know. I'm not a marketer. 
I know this is a lot. I'm gonna give you some space to think. It's Friday. How does Monday sound? Good. Wonderful. Kisses. Mwah.